This is part two of five of the OGT Universal NGS Complete Workflow Solution for Cytoshore and SureSeq. The adapter ligation process will take approximately 35 minutes and the following purification of the ligated library will take approximately 40 minutes. For adapter ligation, take the MagBind Total Pure NGS beads out of the fridge at least 30 minutes before use and allow them to warm to room temperature. Place the DNA ligase on ice and allow the DNA ligase buffer to thaw to room temperature. Make up a fresh solution of 80% ethanol using molecular biology grade ethanol and molecular biology grade water at room temperature. Remove the index adapter plate from storage and allow it to thaw on ice. Briefly spin the index adapter plate in a centrifuge to collect the liquid. Always keep the plate on ice. Do not heat the plate above room temperature. Prepare the ligation master mix as shown in the table. Keep all reagents on ice. Remember to use fresh pipette tips between the components to avoid cross-contamination. Mix well on a vortex mixer and spin down briefly. Add 11 microliters of the ligation master mix to each DNA sample on ice. Add 2.5 microliters of index adapter to each DNA sample remembering to use a different index adapter for each sample to be sequenced in the same lane. Vortex briefly and spin the tubes. Immediately transfer to the thermal cycler. Incubate in a thermal cycler for 20 minutes at 20 degrees centigrade. Do not use a heated lid. Proceed immediately to ligated library purification. To purify the ligated library, use the previously prepared room temperature magbind total pure NGS beads. Vortex the beads for at least one minute or until the reagent appears homogeneous and consistent in colour. Add 11 microliters of the homogeneous beads to each DNA sample. Mix well using a vortex mixer and incubate at room temperature for 5 minutes. Put the tubes in a magnetic stand and wait 3 to 5 minutes for the solution to clear. Keep the tubes in the magnetic stand. Carefully transfer the DNA samples to new tubes. Avoid touching the beads. Discard the beads. Add 29 microliters of the homogeneous beads to each DNA tube. Again, mix well using a vortex mixer and incubate at room temperature for 5 minutes. Put the tubes in a magnetic stand and wait 3 to 5 minutes for the solution to clear. Keep the tubes in the magnetic stand. Carefully remove the cleared solution and avoid touching the beads. Discard the solution and keep the beads containing the DNA sample. Continue to keep the tubes in the magnetic stand whilst adding 200 microliters of 80% ethanol to each tube. Wait for 30 seconds to allow any disturbed beads to settle and then remove the ethanol. Repeat this wash at room temperature. Dry the samples for one to two minutes or until the residual ethanol completely evaporates. 
It is important that the beads don't start to crack as this means that they are over dry. Add 34 microliters of nuclease free water directly onto the bead pellets. Mix well on a vortex mixer. Spin briefly and incubate for 5 minutes at room temperature. Place the tubes on the magnetic stand and leave for 2 to 3 minutes until the solution is clear. Remove 32 microliters of the supernatant to fresh 0.2 milliliter tubes or a 96 well plate using a multi-channel pipette. Tubes containing beads can be discarded at this time. Perform a quality check with a Qubit double-stranded DNA high sensitivity kit.